right, so let's just pick right up where we left off. Let's go ahead and we can minimize this watch layer now. And let's go ahead and click on this icon to create a new layer. Once again, we're going to rename this. So let's rename it Occlusion. And let's go ahead and make this layer visible. Okay. So once again, our geometry has gone away, but our lights are still in our scene. Okay. So now we need to bring geometry back in. However, I don't want to bring in all of our watch geometry for this one. I do not want the glass to come in because I want the occlusion information to be on the digital displays. But if the watch geometry is covering that, then we're only going to see what is available on the surface. There will be no more transparency with the glass. And I don't want any reflection information on that pass either. So it's better that we just leave the displays off. So let's go ahead and let's, let's do this a, a different way here. Okay, last time we went into the outliner and brought them in. Let's go ahead and let's choose our occlusion first. We gotta right click and create our collection so we have somewhere to bring in our geometry to. Okay. And I'm just going to slide this window over here a little bit more. What I can do is come back up to my main scene here and click on the visibility. I'm going to come over to my layer box here and I'm going to hide my watch glass here. Okay. Now I want to bring everything else in. I can just hide my lights because I don't want to select them. I'm going to drag and just select everything. So now I have everything selected here. Now I can just minimize that channel box there and click add. Okay. So now we can see everything that was brought in. Okay. Now if we accidentally brought something in that we didn't want, we can just simply select it and then click on remove. All right. So let's go ahead and for our main scene here, we can go ahead and bring everything else back on deselect. There we go. And let's make our occlusion layer visible. Okay, so now we can see everything that we don't have the glass here. Now we want to make a material override once more because we want to apply the occlusion material to everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and right click and we want to create a material override. Once again, we're going to click on the checkerboard and this time let's Click on the Arnold tab here and we want to scroll down until we find the AI ambient occlusion. Okay. So once we did that, we see everything turn gray. Okay. Looks like the only thing that didn't was the red paint. Now I want to just point out that this happens occasionally. For some reason, it doesn't like to override some of the geometry. It's just a, a glitch that I found out. And hopefully with later releases that they will fix this issue. I did have this issue earlier in testing with the displays here. And one workaround that I can find, it's the only workaround that I could get to work, was to select the geometry, export it as an OBJ, delete this mesh, and re-import the OBJ mesh. Okay? And then that would take care of the problem. Okay, so we might have to do that for this one. Or I may just create a new material, assign it to it when I just do my final render and just assign that ambient occlusion to this object itself. I do find that that works as well. So for right now, we'll just kind of leave it as is and we'll worry about fixing that when it comes time to do the final render. Now that we have our material here, what we need to do is go ahead and let's open up our attribute editor. Okay, and we need to, we need to select any object with that material on it. And we need to select the AI ambient occlusion one here. Okay, samples, I like to take that up to six, give us less noise in our image. Okay, the spread 0.8 works really well with a fall off of one. This will keep the occlusion, the shadows and things really tight in the corners. I don't want it to be really spread out. So let's go ahead and do a test render with this one and make sure that we have everything looking the way it should. All right. So here we have our occlusion pass here. That took all of 26 seconds, so not too long. 
everything looks really nice except for that little red tip there that we have on our our hand dial there and again we can just fix that by removing the geometry or saving it out as an obj first delete it import it back in and it'll work just fine or when it comes to rendering time we can just assign the occlusion to that object and we render it out it'll be just fine okay so but we'll worry about that later on we're not going to be too concerned about it at this point okay so the occlusion override is working for the most part and uh, except for just that but that's it that's all it was it took us just a few minutes here to get that set up and we can go on to the next clip where we'll set up something a little bit more complicated as we're going to be applying multiple materials or multiple overrides in one layer here okay so that's going to be a little bit more complicated as so far we've just been doing one material override to everything but we want multiple colors applied to different objects or even some objects will have two colors applied to them okay so we're going to take a look at how we do that here in the next clip